Hi, I'm Dr. Vibhor Borkar, pediatric gastroenterologist, hepatologist and liver transplant physician practicing in Mumbai and Western India. In my previous videos, we have discussed a lot of information about liver transplant in children, what are the indications, what exactly the liver transplant is. And now in today's video, we are going to see what exactly happens in this complex surgery in which a bad liver or a non-functioning liver is removed from the body and a good healthy liver has been put in the patient's body. Let's dive step by step in this complex procedure. So I'm taking you now directly in the operation theater. Inside the operation theater, first the child and the donor are received in a pre-operation room. Here, both the doctors and anesthesia team will greet you. And after that, first the donor is wheeled into the operation theater, followed by the recipient. First, the donor surgery starts and parallelly after some time the recipient surgery start let's focus on a recipient surgery so the liver transplant is a major surgery and like all surgeries this surgery is also done in a general anesthesia what general anesthesia means it means the child is put into the deep sleep a tube is inserted into the airway and connected to the ventilator so that child's breathing is controlled by the doctors. Child remains in the deep sleep state where she doesn't pursue any pain, cannot hear anything and remain pain free. This is very important so that the surgery goes smoothly. After induction of the general anesthesia, the most important step is the monitoring. So the patient is stable or not that is confirmed by attaching it to the multi-para monitor where all the vital parameters like blood pressure, respiratory rate, pulse rate, these are monitored. Then an invasive lines are inserted which are the like central lines. Sometimes the two central lines are required. Arterial line to monitor the invasive blood pressure and a catheter in the urinary system to monitor a drop and drop of urine output so that everything is going fine. So this all is done by the anesthesia team who is taking utmost care to ensure that your child remains stable and safe during this critical period. Now. Let's focus on the surgery. So the surgery is done in under at most aseptic precautions, mean all precautions are taken so, so that there no infection occurs. So the movement of the people inside the OT is limited. There are a team of the doctors, sisters, technicians and support staff. Everybody has his role assigned and everybody follows its role. Before the surgery, the entire area is properly clean and the parts are prepared. It means those areas which are properly clean, they are covered with the sterile sheets and only the area which required for a surgery is exposed. So that's an upper part of the abdomen. Then for before the surgery, an incision is taken. So the incision is below the rib cage, which can look like a rooftop incision or sometimes a Mercedes Benz sign where it's like an inverted Y. Once the doctor enters into the abdomen, then the connections of the liver means the attachments of the liver to the abdominal cavity. They are first carefully dissected out so that there is no any extra bleeding. Once the liver is made free, all the major connections of the liver to the body like the blood vessels which are hepatic artery, portal vein, hepatic vein and the bile ducts. They are isolated and disconnected and the liver is removed. Meanwhile, it's very important that the donor surgery is also progressively synchronously and the part of the liver which has to be put is already there in the operation room and it is prepared accordingly. Now, the most critical step is putting this part of a healthy liver into the recipient. So again, when this new healthy liver is put inside, all the connections are made. So the first connection is make connecting the hepatic vein to the IVC. After that, connection of portal vein of the donor to the portal vein of the recipient is done. Then there is a connection of the hepatic artery. Once this is done, all the connections are properly checked and then intraoperative Doppler is also done. So it ensures that the connection are good blood is flowing adequately and it also assists by seeing the color change into the organ that is a color change in the liver and also the color change in the intestine. Once this is done and no leak is found then the bile ducts are connected. So in the older case there is a duct to duct connection means the bile duct of the recipient and the bile duct of the donor are connected. In the young kids or certain diseases like biliary atresia where there is no bile duct in that situation doctor performs a special 
facial surgery which is like the connecting the bile duct of the donor to an isolated part of the intestine which now works as a bile duct for the kid that's called as Rouen Y surgery so this surgery is again a very critical step when we are dealing with the liver transplant of the kids now after the again all this surgery again the all connections are checked and the liver is functioning or not that is seen when surgery is going on side by side the team of anesthesia is also monitoring the child looking at any excessive blood loss if required sometimes the blood transfusion is given we know that the liver is important organ which takes care of the blood coagulation means blood clotting so sometimes there can be an excessive bleeding so that the required blood products are also given along with that every few hourly certain blood tests like electrolytes hemoglobin lactate these are routinely checked and corrected as and when required so all these processes are going on simultaneously in many centers once the surgery is over the patient is shifted back to the icu in few centers like ours when the surgery is over and we find that the patient is stable the patient is brought to the senses in the operation table itself and the child is shifted back to the icu after the icu the most important part begins that is the care of the child in the immediate post op area that we have covered in the later part of the video so to summarize liver transplant is a very complex surgery it needs a team of people that includes transplant surgeon anesthetist technicians like anesthesia technician ot technician sisters support staff and a well maintained operation theater these things are very important so the liver transplant is like an orchestra there is a team of people everybody has his role and this role must be played in a synchrony so that we get the best result so this was all about what happens exactly inside the theater for a live liver transplantation so if you find this video useful please don't forget to share this video to someone who needs this please don't forget to like and subscribe my video thank you